Good morning, and don't worry, I will not shoot. <laughs> so uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak uh, today a little bit about uh, projects uh, of Luxembourg Defense, and especially one project, the so-called uh, Luxembourg Cyber Range uh, project. Um, so, but a little bit the context. So first of all, so my name is Ben Fiedler. I work for the Director of Defense, as, as introduced. Um, but the director of defense is not the only actor in the defense uh, domain in Luxembourg. It's also the Luxembourg Armed Forces, where we have also their uh, cyber bureau, and we are strongly working together also on these kinds of, of projects. Um, so the first thing to state about this project is that um, it is part of our uh, Luxembourg cyber defense strategy that has been introduced um, in February of this year. And um, at the beginning, when we set up this cyber cell, which is very, very young, it uh, only exists since two years, um, we, we asked ourselves, what is the most important uh, objectives uh, to, to attend in the next years? And the first one that came to our mind is, of course, our own workforce. So we need to ensure that they are aware of uh, cyber security and uh, issues, and uh, to ensure that uh, our experts in that domain uh, have the uh, needed skills um, also in the future to uh, to tackle those those challenges coming from from cyberspace. Um, because, as you may know, uh, also in in the defense sector, or the new uh, wars uh, that will come up will always probably start uh, with attacks coming from cyberspace. So the first move that will, will be seen are uh, attacks on critical infrastructures. And once they are down, then the country, uh, the society is, 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 um, uh, has troubles. And then only uh, troops will uh, enter uh, into, into the country. This being said, so what uh, what I would like to present today is our sub range um, uh, project. Uh, so next slide, please. So what is the context and, and why did we choose or we decide to do uh, uh, this project? So as I said, uh, we want to ensure that uh, our own workforce uh, is, is skilled, but not only our own workforce, um, as the defense is also um, dependent on national infrastructures, we also want to train those workforces. So to offer them the possibilities to uh, come to us and uh, profit from, from our training environments in order to um, yes let them also um, uh, develop their skills in, in the cyber domain. Um, yes, next slide, please. So what is this cyber range about? Um, you can, and this is the simplest way of explaining it, um, compare it with a an, an flight simulator for, for uh, uh, pilots. So, flight, uh, so pilots need an, a simulated environment to train how, how to navigate, but also on how to react to, to incidents. For example, if one of the engines crashes and the same also applies to uh, the cyber domain. So we need to train our, our uh, people on how to react on incidents um, so that once an incident happens, they already know exactly how to react, um, not specifically to this kind of incident, but in general. Uh, and this was the problem in the past. We had nice procedures, uh, docu documents that explained how to react, but uh, there was no uh, practice. Um, and, and this can be done with our cyber range. So the cyber range can be used to replicate IT infrastructure in a simulated environment where we then can launch uh, cyber attacks on these IT infrastructures. And uh, the cyber experts can um, can then be 
task to protect this uh, um, simulated IT infrastructure against such attacks. Um, but this is only one kind of, of, of use case of the cyber range. So we, in total, we have three, three use cases. The first one is trainings. So for example, classroom trainings, where you have then a, a trainer in front of you that explains um use some 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 uh, yeah topics for example uh, forensics and later on you can then practice on the cyber range what you have learned in the training uh, section we can also um test the skills of of newly hired uh, people so to identify knowledge gaps and then react on it and offer them dedicated trainings in order to avoid them to have those those knowledge uh, gaps. Uh, then the second use case is exercises. So we can this really simulate uh, big IT infrastructures and then let people, the ones uh, that are in so-called red teams, attacking those those IT infrastructures. Because only if you know how to attack, you also know how to protect. Uh, so we we can cover also this aspect in in the sub range and of course the protection uh, of of IT environments by so-called blue teams so guys that that are asked to protect this uh, IT infrastructure and all of this can be simulated in such big uh, exercises and one of the most known one is Lock Shields we also Luxembourg in a big uh, Benelux uh, team participate yearly to it. Uh, together with the governmental um, uh, computer emergency response team, for example. And then the last use case is testing. So the cyber range can also be used if you have a new security solution that you don't want to uh, test in your operational environment. You can simulate uh, your IT infrastructure in the cyber range and test also solutions. Um, also, even before you buy such solutions, you can test them in, in, in the cyber range. And one of uh, uh, one solution we, we we plan to already test in the next uh, months in our sub range. Um, yes, this has been uh, the three use cases. So next slide, slide please. Um, so what are our key benefits from from the Luxembourg cyber range? Um, so the first one is, like I said, uh, we want not only to have nice procedures we want to test them so this is one one key benefit that we expect uh, then of course we want to have our our workforce and uh, workforce that are uh, important on national uh, level to get trained uh, then um, we want to facilitate international cooperation with cyber range because we invite also other nations to come to our cyber range um, and use it uh, and then we can already cooperate with them in exercises. And if you have then an, a big incident that only that that um, uh, has impact on international level, you already know your counterparts, and you can uh, react appropriately to to those incidents uh, as fast as possible. Uh, then, of course, also internally, you uh, develop the the team spirit. Uh, because in this cyber range, uh, the trainings that you do there, uh, you can do them in a, a fun way. So, for example, capture the flag events uh, where you have competition modes. So you can create uh, uh, several teams and let them uh, uh, solve tasks. And those that uh, solve tasks uh, the fastest or the most tasks in the in, 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 uh, 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 yes, at this um, at a given uh, time frame, in a given time frame, they get points and they can then uh, be ranked, and the winner can then get get uh, a nice reward at the end, for example. Uh, so this is this this gamification uh, is really important also in the sub range because only if you have fun you learn, and if you practice it in reality you learn really from it. So this this classroom where uh, a model where someone is in front of you tells you something i think uh, this this can 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 be left behind us um yes next slide please so some 
key facts about the cyber range. So as I explained, the cyber range is the first outcome of our Luxembourg cyber defense strategy that we published early this year. And it's also part of our cyber security strategy on national level, which will be, I think, explained this afternoon by, by Frank Lisa from HCPN. Um, nevertheless, we also plan uh, to link this cyber range capability that we now uh, implemented with other projects that uh, um, that we plan to implement in future. So, for example, as I explained, for testing them before before uh, implementing in the real environment, and we also plan to uh, join international federation projects uh, where you can connect your cyber range with other cyber ranges that exist in other countries. In order, for example, if you have a big uh, exercise, you need uh, at a certain time more capacities only for that exercise. And then it's good to have other cyber ranges where you can connect to in order to have this capacity and avoid that you buy a lot of hardware uh, only for one exercise and the rest of the year you don't use it. Uh, next slide, please. So, what are or who are the main actors? So, of course, uh, the Directorate of Defense as project owner, um, but we strongly depend on on other uh, actors. So, the first one is uh, the NATO agency, uh, which is located in Luxembourg, the NATO Support and Procurement Agency in Capellen. Uh, they supported us uh, in acquiring the the, the cyber range. Uh, because you have to know our cyber team is uh, is, is small and uh, we face the same challenges as everyone. Um, yeah, the needed resources in in cyber security is really a challenge. So we um, ask them to to do the uh, crime uh, the yeah the procurement for for us, and they later on will also maintain the platform for us. Uh, important to state is that the platform is hosted here in Luxembourg in a Luxembourgish data center. So uh, people that, that want to train on it, they get a certain uh, assurance, uh, data security assurance, uh, if they want to replicate their, their own IT infrastructure in, 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 in this environment. Um, and then we have uh, Cybexa Technologies, who will have his talk uh, after me. Uh, they have uh, the solution uh, that we uh, use, so the uh, cyber range platform itself. And then we have security made in .lu. Um, we have an agreement with them uh, because they have already a cyber security competence center. And uh, we wanted to benefit from, from their experience uh, with the room 42, which is more for management level. And now we have a solution for really the technical guys. And this uh, complements then uh, the offer um, that can, um, yeah, uh, for, for, for trainings. So they will uh, in future organize the trainings and also um, uh, offer their facilities uh, to have on site trainings. Next slide, please. Yes, so who can use the sub range? So um, we have. Uh, the cyber range not only for ourselves, but uh, we offer it um, to Luxembourg authorities like uh, governmental cert, uh, the police, but not only. We also want to uh, offer it to Luxembourg critical infrastructures. So the ex cyber experts that are working uh, working in such a uh, critical infrastructure, they can come to us and ask for trainings or for exercises, and we will uh, offer offer it to them. Then also for education, so for example, BTS Cybersecurity or University.lu. Uh, then um, to EU uh, member nations and also uh, agencies. So for example, the European Defense Agency can use it or other partner nations like uh, Belgium, uh, Portugal, or uh, whoever wants to, to use it uh, can, can ask and come to us. And then also to NATO allies and uh, NATO agencies, for example, uh, NSPA, so those who work, uh, did the procurement for us, they will also use it for their own uh, cyber experts to train uh, train them. And we will also offer it to the research community if they have new ideas in cybersecurity domain and they want to test their solutions, um, 
they can also come to ask and ask uh, to get access to the sub range. So this is for, for you out there. If you are one of, of those actors, please feel free to contact us and uh, we can check then if you, uh, if we can, can offer the sub range platform to you. Um, and of course it's, it's for free because we want to, uh, yes, as I said, to, to train as much as uh, possible cyber security uh, experts that can help uh, Luxembourg in the case of a big uh, s uh, cyber security incident that could have impact on, on national level. Uh, next slide, please. Yes, so um, what are the key achievements until now? So uh, first cyber age instructor trainings took place. So where we trained instructors in order to offer trainings. Uh, then we have first end users uh, that are uh, planning or already using the cyber range for exercise and trainings. So this is Lissi Guillaume Call with their BTS cybersecurity. This is Security Made in Data U with their cybersecurity competence center. This is NSPA. Uh, we, of course, use it also. And then we have smaller uh, actors that do not need an agreement because they only want to have the cyber range for a dedicated training. Uh, then you don't need an agreement with us. Only uh, companies, or not companies, only actors that want to regularly use the cyber range uh, get agreements and they get then dedicated access to, to the cyber range. Uh, yes, the cyber range got uh, inaugurated one month ago uh, and there also we had the first uh, exercise that took place in, in that context. Uh, next slide, please. So this is my last slide. And yes, so what are the way to go? So uh, we, we are currently doing promotion uh, of our cyber range. Uh, so in order to let people know that it's something uh, like that exists in Luxembourg, that it can be used uh, and, and with the main point of contact in order to, to use this cyber range. Uh, then, as I said, uh, we want to join projects for, for federations. Um, there is one uh, on, on the EU level that we joined recently. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we start now uh, offering trainings and exercises. Uh, we have there a standard a catalog of standard trainings, but also um, dedicated content can be developed for specific needs. Uh, but the catalog already has a lot of training scenarios, like, for example, also SCADA environments that can be sim simulated and uh, trained on. Um, forensic parts, um, uh, sysadmin, etc., etc., etc. So we have in total over 50 uh, scenarios that we can cover, and um, I think uh, a dozen of of training um, uh, trainings training modules that uh, can already uh, as, um, uh, be asked uh, for. So that was it from, from me. So uh, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask them. And uh, if you need further information on the cyber range, please do not hesitate to contact uh, me or one of my team members at the Directorate of Defense. So thank you.